Hi everyone, welcome back. I'm Di and today I'm sharing with you my diary entry for the week of November 5th. So an extra day through November 12th. Today is November 12th. Today I have not very much to share with you. So this should be a quicker than usual little like check-in, I guess. Um, it's been very stressful this past week. Um, I guess we'll start on the 5th was my daughter's birthday, so that was really nice. I spent the day playing Genshin Impact with her, so it was pretty relaxing. It was very enjoyable. Just hung out with each other. It was a really nice day. And then on Monday the 7th, through the rest of my work week, which is a four-day work week, I never work on Fridays, um, my coworker was out on vacation as she should be, because she never takes enough days. Uh, but when she is out on vacation, that usually means that one day out of the week, I am alone in the office to take care of two other people's desks. And then throughout the rest of the week, I have to do her stuff, and I don't get to do my stuff, because she does more of the day-to-day -day type of things, whereas... With my desk, I'm always working three months ahead. Um, that's just how my desk works. And so if I get behind on my stuff, it's okay because my work is out in the future. So I'm always like behind whenever she is out because I got to take care of her stuff. Um, which I don't mind. It's just it was really stressful this week. Usually my boss will like step in and help out and... He's like, I think he's like on his way like to full retirement. He is already halfway there, I would say. Um, but he's kind of been like leaving the office earlier and earlier and earlier and not really stepping in on problem issues as much as he used to. And he's not like telling us that he's not going to do stuff like that. So, like, when clients are, like, you know, having issues and we send them to him for FYI type things, um, he's just not responding like he used to. And so, yeah, it's been stressful. A lot of things that I kind of send to him to try to have him help me out, since obviously he knows my coworkers out as well, he forwards back to me and says here you send it and I'm just like thanks mm -hmm. so I worked two to three hours over time every day this week and I think I mentioned to you before I don't get paid to work overtime because I'm a salaried worker uh, but it's just it's been really stressful and I've had an IT issue that I've been dealing with not only on my computer but my other co-workers computer who works part-time um, with a particular program that they're trying to like get on our computer it's just not working and IT doesn't know how to fix it and it was just a bunch of going back and forth with them which took out time for me doing work on the day-to-day -day stuff and then my boss goes and lets a hacker onto his computer so I had to deal with that so it's, it's just not been a great week, and therefore I've not really wanted to do much, and I've been very exhausted. So my co-worker will be back on Monday, which by the time you see this, it would have been two days ago. <laughs> but I film on Saturdays, so most of the time anyway. So I've got this next week, so my last day in the office will be the 17th of November, and then I am out of the office until December 5th. So I am, like, looking forward to it. I have just been really, really stressed out lately, even more so than I usually am, which it must just be part of my aging, like... I'm not handling stress as well as I used to, like when I was younger. This type of workload didn't affect me as much as it does now, like say 10 years ago. Um, I find that I was having a hard time getting my heart rate down. And I was having 
palpitations and chest pain and it was just not a good time this week. So I haven't really done much uh, besides work and play video games. <laughs> um, so let me just catch you up on what I have read this week. I don't even have a finished item to talk to you about this week because I haven't finished reading anything. It's been one of those weeks. I am reading Bungo Stray Dogs Volume 1 Osamu Dazai's Entrance Exam in the light novel. This is by Kafka Asagiri, uh, illustration by Sango Harukawa. So this um, is a prequel story about how when Osamu Dazai joins the armed detective agency, he's kind of put through a test by Dopo Kunikita to figure out if Dazai is a good fit for their agency. And this novel is from Kunikita's perspective. And I think that's one of my major hangups with this. I am not enjoying Kunikita's voice. I much prefer Dazai as a character to Kunikita. Um, and there are some parts where we get multiple POVs in here. But more often than not, we're in Kunikita's perspective. We've finally gotten to the point, or at least I have finally gotten to the point where you know, the mystery investigation is on. There have some been some mysterious deaths and some mysterious things that have happened as well. I am very interested in the story. I just cannot keep my eyes open to read it. So I'm on page 129. This book has long, long chapters. But in the middle of the chapters, there are like these sections. And I don't know. How am I going to show this to you? Um, like the pages are sectioned off. So here's page two. So this should be fine. So you can see there's like this little section here. So normally what I do when I read is I try to read through a chapter and then I'll stop at the end of a chapter. I can't do that with this. That's how tired I've been. Um, and the chapters are pretty long. I think there are only like four or five chapters in this book plus the prologue. Okay, so there's four chapters, a prologue, an interlude, or two interludes, and an epilogue. Um, and they are pretty long. So I've just been stopping at those little three dot sections um, whenever I get too tired. And I can literally only read a couple pages before I pass out at night. I mean, there have been nights where I am like, I will like put my finger in between like this and I'll just like put it on the side like lay it on the side close my eyes for like what I think is going to be 10 minutes and then like three hours later I get up and my finger is still in this book um it's that's how it's been this week and that almost never happens to me so yeah I'm hoping that I'll finish this by the time I've, I talk to you next um but next week the Thursday, the day after you see this, is our manga club meeting for the month. And so I've got to stop reading this and read those so that I can talk to my members about them. Uh, because <laughs> I kind of have to. Um, so, yeah. It's, it's not the start to reading that I wanted to have at the beginning of November. So I'm a little bit disappointed. And... Yeah, um, I am also currently listening to Son of Neptune, which is the second book in the Heroes of Olympus series by Rick Riordan. I am doing much better with progressing with this than I was trying to read it physically. So I was able to get an audiobook copy from my library. I think I talked to you about this last week or in my some other video. <laughs> um, and so I've I'm progressing with the story this way. I usually listen to an audiobook during my lunch breaks um, during my workday. And that's the only time I ever listen to audiobooks unless I find a time in the week where, say, my mom and daughter are out doing something and I'm home alone and I can like just be 
and like knit or relax and you know that's when I'll like put in an audiobook and maybe I'll do some knitting or some crochet or I'll tidy the house or something um but more often than not that I don't have that type of time and I don't like to listen to audiobooks when my family is home because I personal, personally feel like I'm ignoring them by doing that. And so I don't want to do that. So I only listen during my lunch break. I only was able to listen during my lunch break for two and a half of my work days this week. The half day was because my earphones died, even though when I had put them in that day um, during lunch, I had two bars, but it died like half an hour into my lunch break. So I was only able to listen to like 30 minutes or so. And then one day this week during my lunch, I had to go into the office and take care of something for a client. So I did not get a lunch break that day. Uh, so I'm sure that did not help my stress. <laughs> But yes, I'm about 61% of the way through that book right now, which is much better than I was when I first started listening. So I'm progressing nicely. I have to admit, I'm still not like connecting to the story. It's not grabbing my interest like Percy Jackson did. Um, it's a little bit disappointing. I am enjoying that Percy is a character in this book. Uh, because that's what was lacking in the previous book in this series. But it's just kind of confusing. I'm very confused. It's like I haven't absorbed what I need to. And I don't know if it's just my state of mind right now. Am I not focusing as much as I used to on what I'm listening to anymore? I don't know what it is but I'm not enjoying this one as much as Percy Jackson so it's kind of it's kind of strange because I really want to finish this series so that I can know what it's about because I've always wondered but with how I'm I wouldn't say I'm not enjoying it I'm just not like gravitating towards it like when I put my earphone in during lunch break I'm like oh okay let's get back into the story but if I was given like a choice of doing that and doing something else I would probably choose to do something else do you know what I mean it's that kind of relationship I'm having with this story so it's a little strange for me with how much I enjoyed Percy Jackson and how much and how I'm enjoying Heroes of Olympus not as much as the previous series but it is what it is um i do enjoy it while i'm listening to it but like i said i do feel confused like i haven't absorbed things i'm enjoying frank as a character um and i obviously enjoy percy but maybe this feeling of confusion is because where percy is in this story he is also confused course i'm just putting that together now but maybe that's part of the case i don't know but yes i do feel a little confused at times when i'm listening to that story like things are not clicking for me but i do enjoy it while i'm listening to it it's not an unpleasant experience i'm enjoying it when i'm in it but if i'm not in it then i'm not thinking about it kind of thing so it's kind of weird anyway that's as far as my reading goes. As far as knitting, I knit one day this week. And this is all I have to show for it. So I've got nine rows of twisted rib. <laughs> uh, nine rows of twisted rib on a sock. This is the start of the second sock for my chevron sock. So it's the second sock to this one. Um, yeah. Instead of knitting like I normally do while I watch TV, I've just been potatoing on the couch. I'm just kind of, it's just been one of those weeks. I just, I'm so exhausted after work. I don't want to do anything. And I really need to watch because I could be susceptible to getting a cold, you know, because I'm not taking care of myself. 
because I've been all stressed out trying to get everything done for everybody and not taking care of me. And I've been very fortunate that I have not had a cold, like just a common cold in years. It's been years, but I also have not been like this worn out ever. I don't think ever. So yeah, this is all I've got to show for myself this week. Again, it's a bit disappointing and I really shouldn't feel disappointed with myself for adulting. <laughs> I mean, I get, I, I would consider that adulting, right? Um, but yeah, it's been a tough one. This week should be easier, though it may not be because I'm going to be like trying to make sure my desk is nice and caught up if not ahead so that when I'm on vacation I'm not two weeks behind because when I'm on vacation my work does not get done nobody touches my desk uh, so it's a little bit unfair but like I said they don't feel like it's necessary because I work three months in advance and if I'm behind two weeks a month it's okay until my boss decides it's not which could be at any time and yeah so I'm just struggling you guys I'm struggling I'm I'm not very happy recently I've been very cranky I will admit the littlest thing like makes me upset <laughs> it's it's been bad this week bad um so I'm just trying to find some joys in life, things that'll perk me up, like playing video games with my daughter. So we've been doing a lot of that, and it's been nice. I enjoy playing with my daughter, and a lot of it, you know, I've talked to you about when we play Genshin, I don't enjoy the battle stuff, but my daughter does. And so when she and I are playing together, she does all of the battling, and I'm able to just go off and pick up some mint in the field or walk in the in the stream or you know pick pick up some sunsetia fruits or cook or you know little little things like that the things that I enjoy about Genshin so in fact after I finish filming today I'm going to start loading my uh, clips into the computer which is still giving me a hard time um, and I'm going to play some Genshin while I'm doing that but I will say that I have been feeling a little bit of cast on itis recently for knitting. Like none of the projects I have on the needles right now are calling to me. But I do have a couple of other projects that are. So I'm thinking I might cast on something new, if not two new things. One of them I will tell you is an advent project. It's to use my very first advent yarn advent calendar that I had received or purchased, which was like three or four years ago. Um, and I want to make it into a sweater, like a pullover. And I've been hemming and hawing about what kind, what design to use. If I'm going to just take a plain design and stripe it and how many rows I should make each stripe and things like that. I think I finally figured out what I want to do. I definitely already have the supplies. So it's just a matter of getting it done. But I know that if I wait for to cast on this project during Advent time, I'm never going to be able to keep up. I can barely keep up with all of my reading and everything else during the holidays because December is my busiest time of month for my desk. Um, it just the end of the year, like beginning of the year, is when most of our clients need something done for them. And so, yeah, <laughs> that's why I'm never able to keep up with Advent Knits or anything like that because I'm just too busy. <laughs> and so, yeah, plus, you know, I do try to film Vlogmas during December. It's not very much different from this type of video that you see from me weekly now because I just started doing these weekly this year. But I do try to film a clip every night and then I just compile it for a one weekend um, upload. I have 
purchased an advent calendar. I will tell you that. So there will be that to see during um, Vlogmas. I will also tell you that the advent calendar I purchased was intended to be a Halloween advent calendar. And I purchased it knowing this, but knowing that I wasn't also... But knowing that also I wasn't going to open it until December because I wanted to have something different. Um, when I purchase advent calendars, when other people are normally selling them, I find that I have to really be careful about watching Vlogmas videos from other knitting creators because there's always that chance that they'll also have the same advent and then I'll get spoiled. Do you know what I mean? So by me purchasing a Halloween advent, I haven't seen anybody else open this particular advent during Vlogtober. So I'm hoping that I won't be spoiled for this in December. So it is a uh, Halloween advent calendar, just so that you know it's not going to be Christmassy at all. Um, but I still think it's going to be fun. I still think it's going to be fun. And so I do have that. Plus, I have picked up a different kind of advent. It's more of a mystery. Not knitting, but not really reading either. I don't know. You'll hear more about it as we get to advent season. But I thought it might be really cool to do with you guys during that time of the year. So two advents definitely to see during the month of December or the Vlogmas season. Um, and then I am also planning on doing my manga advent calendar project again in December. I'm just not quite sure how I want to do it yet. There will definitely be some change. I just don't know what it's going to be yet. So look forward to that. Um, I will still be doing my Rotating Dex TBR game, but I'm going to make a specification that there will be no punishments if I do not get to those. Because who wants to be punished at the end of the year or at the beginning of the year, right? Um, and December should not be a stressful month for me in all aspects of my life. I just want it to be fun and holiday feels and all of that. So I'll still be playing the game to give myself some options in case I do have time to read other things. Or maybe I can put in some other volumes of manga. We will see. I'm never going to know until I play the game, um, which I should be doing in a couple weeks, actually. Jeez, this year is coming to a close really fast. But yes, just some things um, to give you to look forward to in a couple of weeks. Um, for those of you who do watch these diary entries from me, um, it's a little bit of a sneak peek for you guys. So... That's pretty much everything I have to talk to you about today. I thought this was going to be a shorter video, but obviously I talk a lot. So <laughs> in any case, let me know down in the comments below what you've been doing this week. Have you been enjoying a read? I'd love to know what you've been reading and enjoying. Or if you're reading something that you're not enjoying so much, let me know that also down in the comments below. Are you planning on doing any Vlogmas videos? Are you planning anything for Vlogmas? Um, do you have any type of end of year traditions? I'd love to know that as well. If nothing else, and you'd just like to let me know that you were here, if you could leave me a wizard emoji <laughs> for my uh, Lord of the Rings box lunch sweater <laughs> that I got this year. Um, I'm really enjoying it. Um, yeah, leave that for me down in the comments below. Um, that will do it for me today. So I hope you're all doing great. I hope you're all safe and healthy. And until next time, take care and smiley always. Bye.